don't look at the information as oh woe is me uh only got three subscribers only got like two views women lie men lie but numbers don't go Yo, I'm Chris the Dunn. Got a vibe you can't ignore. Who let the rhythm high make you dance across the floor from the heart of sincere heavy. What up, people? It's your boy, the host with the most. I do not brag or boast. I'm coming to you guys live from coast to coast. It's your boy. I'm Chris the Dunn. One, and welcome to another spanking new video. So, so today is Saturday. Saturday, uh, 12 in the afternoon. Uh, this is the last official day of summer. This is the last official weekend for summer. So enjoy, enjoy the summer view while you can because when Monday comes rolling around, it's gonna be fall, all right? Now, the first couple of weeks of fall is, you know, we all know how it is. The first couple of weeks of fall, you still gonna have some summer-like temperatures, but occasionally you'll get some colder-like temperatures, as well, cool-like temperatures. And like I said before, I thoroughly enjoy fall because fall is not too, it's not too hot. It's definitely not too cold. It's somewhere stuck in the middle, all right? Occasionally you may get some very hot days and occasionally you'll get some like or cold days. I say the lowest I ever experienced. The lowest temperature I have ever experienced in the fall is maybe in the 50s or 60s or something like that, but generally be around in the 70s, a little less than that. So yeah, so get out there and enjoy it, all right? What I'm gonna talk about today. Uh, by the way, if you have things you guys want me to talk about, put it in the comment section and tell me what you guys want me to talk about. Uh, this is something I want to talk about. Things uh, I wish I would have knew when I be when, when I created my YouTube channel and became a content creator. Now, there's a whole lot of videos and tutorials out there, the do's and the don'ts, and I'm not gonna get all involved and get all into that. I'm basically giving you things that to me really helped me as a content creator and i'm just gonna pass the savings on to you guys so the first rule of thumb is uh, content creating is content 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 all right C keep throwing yourself out there in these youtube streets think of content creating as fishing all right you just don't fish in one fishing hole, right? You go through the lake and try to find the best spot where you're gonna catch the most fish. And then that's, that's you know, that's where you're gonna be catching the most fish. Welcome to Big Docks. What are you they use on the mobile app today? Uh, no ma'am. What would you like today? Today, I would like um, a large sweet tea and a small, uh, medium fry. No, you did not. 479. First oh. window. Alrighty. I don't know why uh, someone blew their horn in the background. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma Hello. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Ready? So, um, here are things that I thought that was very important to me. Now, if you want to get in the nooks and crannies of YouTube, there's a bunch of videos, a gang full of videos. There are channels galore on if you want to get all, if you want to get in the nooks and cranny of, of, of YouTube. But here are a couple of things that I felt like went a long way with my YouTube channel. Um, the first order of business is creating content. The time when you should create content, what you know, the types of different types of content. Uh, the one thing I, I I say to anybody, and you know, everyone asks me, uh, and I'm not a big time YouTuber, all right. So let's just go and get that out of the way. But I have had some, I have had some some success, some content, content, content. Um, so yeah, if. If you're solely a content creator on YouTube, 
here are some things you should you should create content frequently though I hear a lot of people say on a lot of videos you should dedicate a day and you just record content 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 but you know you can't life is unpredictable you can't predict life now there's tons of channels and tons of videos if you want to know the nicks and crannies about youtube as a content creator if you want to know the regulations the the rules of youtube i'm pretty sure you can just search it on youtube but this is basically things that help me and i hope these things and these tips will help you all right first thing i want to talk about is content you got to push yourself by making content because youtube has an algorithm all right and the more you post the more you're going to get into that out that algorithm so um with youtube there's different forms of videos there are uh, youtube shorts they're like tiktok videos matter of fact if you can post some of your tiktok and instagram videos and port them on your youtube channel that's a good recommendation there's traditional videos and then there's live streams. So try to use, try to utilize all of them. Now, another thing people tell me, and I've seen, I've heard this a time or two with other people is, well, you should select a certain day where you're gonna just knock out all your YouTube videos and record them. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're going to uh, edit them or whatever the case may be um they just do it all in one day and you know that's fine and all but life life is imperfect okay there's there's no such thing as you know perfect where you're not gonna have nothing going on even on your days off sometimes life happens okay sometimes the unexpected happens in life so if that works for you fine but to me the one thing I've noticed is what what I traditionally notice is just post, just just record, just turn your camera on and record. All right. It doesn't matter if you're in the car, if you're going, if you're on a lunch break, if you're on a break, if you're at work, if you're able to record at work, uh, if you're at home, you know, you might be doing your clothes, whatnot, you might be cleaning the house, what whenever you get an opportunity and the opportunity presents itself where you don't have a whole lot of noise in the background your you know your kids may not be there your significant other may not and some and some people are fine with recording contact in, I mean content in front of their family and friends okay some people can do that others you know not so much but you should focus and get into the habit of recording all right just record content record content record content and then when you're done recording you just you should just go through your content see some things that you talked about see some things that you talked about that might be an interesting topic you may want to uh post that on a video you you may want to you know slight chop it up and post that particular conversation on youtube shorts okay so whenever you're able to just constantly re you know just constantly record content all right another thing is utilize when you are able to because you have to meet the recommendations of youtube you have to have like a thousand followers and so much watch time so um get in the habit of doing live streams if you if you have like two or three hours to kill do a live stream do a live stream um at the laundromat do a live stream at the gym if you're able to. Do a live stream at the library. Do a live stream in your car, okay? Whenever, you know, you, you're you able to, do it. So, content, con creating content, creating content, creating content, all right? Um, and there's no such thing as bad content. No, no such thing, all right? So, get out of the mindset of you recorded something and then you go, um... I'm not feeling it, all right? Don't delete it. Just put it in your 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 cloud and um, maybe come back to it at a later date or at a later time. Another thing about YouTube is they have YouTube communities where 
It's on your YouTube channel, and it's similar like Twitter or Instagram, where you like if you have subscribers, you can message them or post pictures or whatever you want to do. Um, the one thing about YouTube community, if you don't constantly do it, um, and it also engages with the people that are subscribed to you. So get, you know, go on to uh, your YouTube community page on your YouTube channel and just write messages, ask how, how everyone's doing. Maybe uh, show a picture or your thumbnail saying, hey, this is gonna be the next video that's going to be uh, coming up soon. Uh, you know, just let your subscribers know what are you doing, all right? Or how they're doing, all right? I, I feel like the community tab on YouTube is, is perfect for people that are subscribed to your channel and they may be uh, watching YouTube and then they start seeing your posts on your channel. So that's that. So that's another thing you need to take full advantage of. I don't think a lot of people talk about that really. Um, but yeah, if you have some subscribers, you know, get familiar with them and, you know, post on the YouTube community tab on your YouTube channel, all right? Very beneficial, all right? Uh, uh, another thing is to me uh you really have to pay attention on when you and this is trial by error okay you need to really pay attention to um when you when you post something are you getting a bunch of subscribers at at a certain day or at a certain time that's where you need to download the youtube studio app and the YouTube Studio app will give you those matrix. They'll they're like, oh well, at this certain day, at this certain time, your short did this amount of views, or your video did this certain amount of views, or this live stream did a certain amount of views. That's where it reached its peak. And when you constantly do it, uh, your YouTube Studio will will tell you a good time when to post and when not to post. All right, I, I hear a people on well i see people on their youtube channels or on their videos telling you well you should post at prime time hours like from 4 p.m to 8 p.m you know just some, something ridiculous and to me that's you know if if you don't want to follow nothing else i guess you can follow that but you don't know when uh when your subscribers or going to come watch you. Like I, I did a video last week and, I, and it's almost a thousand views and I just posted it earlier in the morning. So you, you don't know. So, so what time may work for me may not work for you and vice versa. Like if these people, these uh, content creators on their videos telling you, you should post at this time post, that might work for them. And that might work for a few other people, but it may not work for you, all right? So that's that's another thing, um, uh, you know, I want to throw that out there, okay? So another thing is your thumbnails. Practice on your thumbnails. Now, I watched a video one time and the guy said you should make the thumbnail before you actually make the video. And to me, whatever works for you what that might work for him and that might work for me and it might work for others but that may not work for you so practice on your thumbnails like even if you record if you have an idea you recorded it you edit the video and then when you're done doing all that you need to get the thumbnail the thumbnail attracts people to your video it you know it, it attracts future subscribers. It attracts the algorithm. It uh, attracts other viewers. It even attracts your subscribers, all right? So get in the habit of creating great thumbnails, okay? Uh, my rule of thumb is make three different thumbnails for that particular video. Uh, you know, make your first one and um, make another one that's totally different from your first one then make a third one that's totally different from the other two and pick from one of those three that's what i do that may not work for you you know you may like the first thumbnail that you uh created for your youtube uh, video all right so yeah thumbnails are important 
and channel banners are just as important as well. When someone subscribes to your channel, they want to see, okay, what's this channel about? All right. So your channel banner, you know, just tell, you know, hey, I, I do this, I do that, I do X, Y, Z. Maybe show a picture or maybe show a logo. And that, you know, that will attract a lot of people to subscribe to your channel, right? Um, an another thing, I feel like there's no such thing as fit in a fit in a certain box. What do I mean by that? Um, like if you like talk about politics, then that's your it. I mean, that's your ish. Talk about politics. I do feel like you can't talk about politics and then talk about really. I feel like the two things I try to stay clear away from, or if I do talk about it, I don't go all deep into the rabbit hole, is religion and politics. Religion and politics, it just spawns, you know, a, a mixed group of people that, you know, you may have, you might have some people come in that are pro-Republican. You may have some people that come in pro-Democrat. And, um, you know, they're going to argue in the comment section. And when they're done arguing in the comment section, they're, they're probably going to argue with you. So um, always get in the habit of saying my opinion or, you know, this is what I believe. All right. And if and, and another thing is do your research. All right. Whatever you're talking about, make sure that what you're talking about is somewhat right. Okay, should be all the way right, but somewhat right. You could be wrong on a suggestion. You could be wrong on an idea. You could be wrong on um, on your theories. Okay, and that's fine. All right. So, yeah. So, get practicing on your thumbnails. Do your your channel banner. Um, when, when when you got a thumbnail and a channel banner, it banner it does wonders for your YouTube channel. And for your video and you're not really don't peg yourself in one category you may be uh, talking about fashion one week you might be talking about sports another week maybe talking about entertainment whatever is on your mind that's what you want to talk about and follow the trend follow the trend of your videos look at your videos find out the, the ones that are popular and find out the ones that are not so popular it may be the subject matter that you're talking about why these videos are not popular. It may be different times when you posted them. It may be uh, it may be a thousand things, but you know, you, you need to really go into the metrics of your video. Uh, go to your YouTube channel. There, you know, they have an uh, uh, you know they, they have your stats there. They know when a, they know how many people watch your video, how long they watch your video. When, uh, when they stop watching your video, uh, when they subscribe to you, when they unsubscribe to you. So you have to pay attention to those metrics, okay? Um, no one told me that when I started YouTube. You know, basically, they just told you, oh, just get your channel banner, get you a thumbnail, you know, uh, get you some equipment, record, 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 content, content, content. And, you know, check the status of your video, or, you know, posting it, maybe different times, whatever. Um, no one really got into the nooks and cranny of, you know, on your YouTube channel. It, it shows all your stats on your video. It shows how many people have done subscribe. It, it, it shows how many people have unsubscribe. It shows, it, it shows a ton of stuff. So utilize that information. Don't look at the information as, oh, woe is me, uh, only got three subscribers, only got like two views. Uh, you know, women lie, numbers, uh, women lie, men lie, but numbers don't. But numbers are unapologetic. Numbers are, uh, you know, they're unreasonable. They, they, they don't take, they don't use emotion. They, you know, the numbers are the numbers. And, you know, if, 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 you know, if, if a certain video is not doing the views, then, uh, before you start thinking it's you look at, look at the subject matter that you're talking about. Look at the time that you uploaded that video. So there's a thousand things that could be going on with your, 
YouTube channel, okay? Or with your video. Another thing is try to stay away from using television, movies, or, you know, or, or, or songs uh, that are not yours, okay? If you have a movie that's yours that you done created, then, okay, utilize it, use it. Or if you have some music of your own that's your original music, fine, go ahead and use it. But uh, try to stay away from licensed music and licensed um, movies and licensed uh, television shows because that can get you in some, that can get you in a deep pickle. That can get you in some huge problems. Okay, you might get, you might get a strike on your channel. They may, um, you know. You know, they, they may blacklist your YouTube channel without you knowing, you know. So, yeah, get in the habit of using your own stuff, okay? It's, it's very beneficial if you do utilize your own stuff. Those, to me, are important. May not be important to you, but those are ideals and tips I use. And it got me, uh, you know, it, it got me, you know, to a good place and I hope these ideals get you in a good place and there's no such thing as one idea like one mindset one ideal and that's why you're not successful here is because you're not utilizing and practicing the beliefs of what someone else is doing and they are successful all right there are more than one ways to skin a cat. That's 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 basically all I have to say. Well, uh, that's all I got, guys. See what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces. I'm up out of here.